31 Among Us things you possibly didn't know. Among Us has plenty of secrets, tidbits, and easter eggs that lie underneath the surface. So today, we're covering the best pieces of info that might have just passed you by so you can be a true Among Us big brain. And hey, YouTube told me straight up that absolutely zero people have subscribed using their nose. So, if you're up to the challenge, park your schnoz on that red button down below. It's free, and it helps out a ton. Number 1. The cameras on the scale leave a lot to be desired. But as it turns out, if you're running by the time that you open up the cams app, you can slightly shift around your field of vision with the camera. And where this really becomes evident is if you play as a ghost, because there, when you're dead, you can move through the walls and you can move that camera's range of vision so much further than you can if you're alive. Number two, the look and feel of Among Us by this point is so iconic that honestly, most of us can't imagine it a different way. But for a time in its development cycle, the game didn't always go by the name Among Us, but rather the working title that it had when it launched on iOS and Android was Space Mafia. The game's mechanics and ideas are already heavily based on the game called Mafia, so there you go, put it in space, Space Mafia. Number three, during a round of Among Us, every single second counts. Which is why it might be crucial for you to know that during the role announcement screen where it tells you what you're going to be for the rest of the game, you're actually able to interact with the game behind it and move around your character. So whether you're a crewmate looking to get a head start in your chores, or an imposter that just wants to get set up for a kill, this range of motion, although a shot in the dark, might be able to put you on track for the lead. Number 4. The name The Skeld seems like an odd choice for a ship, but what seems like a made-up word to the English-speaking population is a bit more familiar to the Swedes. The developers have gone on record saying that the name of the map is initially derived from a translation of the phrase The Shield in Swedish but the name was then later modified for easier pronunciation. Which is good, because without the help of Google Translate, I do not think I'd be able to pronounce this. Holden. Holden. I don't know. Number five. Multi-part tasks aren't exactly a treat. So what if we were able to take one of the two-part tasks and just simplify it down to one? We can actually do just that with the upper engine's task and scaled. After you use the arrow to align the engine, if you click it three times, you can actually finish both tasks at once making your chore on the side go from 0 out of 2 straight up to 2 out of 2. Number 6. If you're a particularly vigilant Zelda fan, then I'm sure this one didn't pass you by. But in case you missed it, if you boot up the map Mirror HQ and take a good long look at the plants, you'll see a striking resemblance to one of the Koroks from Zelda. More specifically, this seems to be a reference to Makar, the companion that you have in Wind Waker. But I've gotta say, going from Sage of the Wind down to being a potted plant does seem like a downstep. Number 7. The display interface on admin is admittedly pretty limited. But while most of us just use this for only checking crewmate traffic, that's only scratching the surface. Just like using vitals or cams, you're also able to see kills on the admin screen. That is, when a player's killed, their icon will flash on the map, which lets you know that something dicey might have happened in that room. Number 8. If you're looking to prank the rest of your friends in the lobby, here's how. If you host a game on the Skell during April 1st, the map when you load up will actually be flipped in reverse, giving you something pretty similar to the mirror mode in Mario Kart. And the best part about this is that your friends don't have to be on April 1st to see this. So if you set your device's internal clock to that date, you can invite them in and get ready for their reactions. Number 9. If you've ever played for a long session with a group of friends, then you know that at some point the lobby's gonna close, and you're just gonna have to type in a new code to get into the next one only to find out that everyone else is joining into the last lobby that you were in. So to save yourself the hassle of that scramble, if you just click the arrow without typing anything into the box, it'll take you into the last lobby you entered. If you get disconnected, just press that arrow and you'll be right back in with the rest of the fun. Number 10. In a competitive lobby, how the imposter fakes their task could be make or break. So an extra trick for those crewmates trying to find the liar, this divert power panel on Skeld is completely unused. So if you see a body over there faking their tasks, you know that they're just trying to look busy and they should be fired immediately. And hey, same goes to any imposters. You gotta avoid this panel so you don't get caught in the future. Number 11. Among Us is chock full of pop culture references. My personal favorite being this QR code on Polis, which if you happen to scan, you'll be given a line of text that says, yo Holmes, smell you later. Which, if you've ever caught an episode of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, you know is straight out of the theme song. So hey, good for small YouTuber and TikTok star Will Smith for getting put into this massive video game. I'm sure it's a huge monument in his career. Number 12. While plenty of other YouTubers will talk your ear off about the Among Us lore, what I will mention is interesting is if you go to the Align Telescope's task, you're able to see a Dyson Sphere. Which, in case you're not a space buff, is a huge structure that wraps around the entirety of a star to capture the large amounts of energy. 
And by that measure, these little goofballs are so much smarter than you and I could ever hope to be. But hey, at least we have actual arms. Number 13. As the imposter, your goal is to get the kill and then get immediately out of dodge. So, fortunately for you, it's entirely possible to get those kills through obstacles that can keep you further away from the body. Like getting a kill through these plants on Mira. Or if that doesn't work for you, you could also try the laboratory table on the same map. It's even possible to get a kill through the monitor on Polis. There's so many different opportunities where you can be hiding behind something and still get the kill. Number 14. If you ever wanted to be in the loop about new Among Us features before they're added in, well, you're in luck, because Inner Sloth actually allows beta testing for all these different updates. Now, to start using this beta, it does vary by platform, but at least on Steam, all you had to do was go to the beta section of Among Us, and then you can just opt into the public beta, allowing you to try out any new features with your friends as well. Number 15. The name for the map Polis actually has a history that expands just past Among Us. Rather, it actually comes from a character in one of Inner Sloth's other games, Henry Stickman. After winning a sweepstakes, they got their name put into the game as one of the minor characters in one of the sub-episodes. And that's just one of the many Henry Stickman easter eggs that are in Among Us. But hey, in fairness, there's also plenty of Among Us easter eggs in Henry Stickman. It evens out. Number 16. In a game as tense as Among Us, nobody wants to waste time. So, to shave off those extra animation frames, it's actually possible to click past certain animations in the game. Instead of letting it play out, you can just press escape or the X to close out of the task as soon as you see task complete. If you're in a sticky situation, this allows you to bail a little bit quicker and it might be the difference of life and death. Number 17. Nowadays, Among Us' success is a foregone conclusion. But as it turns out, it had a pretty rocky start. According to a developer log in Inner Sloth's itch.io page, in the first 50 days of the game, it only made about $35. But with projected sales of the game now reaching into the millions, I think it's safe to say that Inner Sloth's well and surpassed that number. And you know what? They totally deserve it. Number 18. Local multiplayer was a huge part of early versions of Among Us, which is why when starting out, the game initially had no audio so that it wouldn't reveal any hidden information to any of the other local players. Which is weird to think about given how classic the different sound effects in this game are. But sure enough, in its parlor game roots, a kill didn't sound like this, but rather this. Clearly it doesn't have the same impact. Number 19. As an imposter, you're always trying your best not to be seen. So to help you out with that, there is this glitch that makes it completely possible to go entirely invisible during the match. If you vent as soon as a body's reported, then you will just disappear. I don't imagine it'll be in the game for too long, it does seem like cheating. But while it's in the game, for better or worse, this does make your task to hide in plain sight so much easier. Number 20. Star Reactor can be an annoying task as is. But as it turns out, in earlier versions of the game, it used to not save your progress after being interrupted. So if you got taken out, it was all the way back to the beginning. This task already gets interrupted enough as is, so the fact that it wouldn't save any of your progress just makes it a headache that I'm glad Inner Sloth avoided. Number 21. The vent system on Mira can give imposters a huge advantage, so if you're trying to disarm that, you gotta look at the sensor log. For example, if you were to take a look at the log and you see that someone goes past southeast to north and then southwest, then you know that they likely vented because they didn't pass back through north before going to southwest. Understanding the different orders that you pass by sensors could be all the evidence you need to take down the imposter. Number 22. As anyone who's played around with the sub settings in Among Us Lobby knows, there's different sub settings of tasks. They're short, common, long, etc. But while each of those different types function differently in the game, as it turns out, all of them fill up the task are the exact same amount. So regardless of which one you see over on your task list, as it turns out to Among Us, it's about the quantity, not so much the quality of the task. Number 23. During early versions of the game, Polis and Mira both used to be paid DLC maps. Initially starting out at $4, they then went to two and then eventually free, which is how we know them today. So if you're wondering why those two maps in particular have themed skin packs for purchase, that's why. They used to all be part of the same bundle that you would buy back in the day. Number 24. Sometimes it's hard to get someone to verify your scan, so using this glitch, it's actually possible to get someone to see your scan anywhere in the map of Skeld. If you have a high ping connection to a lobby and then you spam the med base scan button over and over again, eventually you'll be able to scan outside of the actual med bay, which means that technically you're proven innocence all over the map, as well as weirding out the other players. Number 25. While Among Us has a lot of similarities to social deception games like Werewolf, the gameplay actually derives from an in-person game where the developers would turn off the lights in the house, and then one player who was dubbed the king would go around and try to kill the other players by running a finger along their neck. 
It's definitely nothing I've ever heard of, but hey, if it inspired the Among Us devs, then I'm sure it's pretty good. Number 26. While Among Us is clearly successful in the US, according to an interview that the developer gave to Kotaku, the game's actually more popular in Mexico, Brazil, and Korea. Apparently, in 2019, it was found by different YouTubers in the areas and sort of snowballed into success, which is basically the same thing that happened here with Soda Poppin, which proves that no matter where you live, Among Us is still a great game. Number 27. Going into certain rooms to do tasks can be a death wish. So if you want to keep yourself distanced from any work hazards, then it's actually possible to do certain tasks through the walls. Whether that's these wires on the polis office, the ones that you're able to start a mirror and then get pushed away by the blast door, or rather, these ones that you can do on the shields task in Skeld. Clearly, there are plenty of different ways to separate yourself from work. Number 28. To anyone who's booted up the game and seen this weird logo cross their screen, you might have wondered if such a strange name had some form of history to it. But no, according to the developers, it just came from a random name generator they were scrolling through. However, it stuck because it resonated with them. It's like how you feel very sloth and lazy on the inside, but then on the outside, you want to get things done. At least, that's the reasoning after the fact. I think they just liked the name. Number 29. If you're a crewmate without a group, then Reactor could seem like a daunting emergency. However, it's fully in your power to stop this emergency by yourself. By clicking to hold down on one panel and then quitting out to run over to the other at the end while still holding down the mouse button, you can open up the second panel and solve both just like that. I'm guessing it's not a feature that'll stay in the game for too long. This might be able to keep you and the rest of the crew alive on the ship for just that little bit longer. Number 30. With so many people playing Among Us these days, it feels like every day is Among Us Day. But as it turns out, according to Inner Sloth's blog post, The Data Among Us, Thursdays turn out to be the least popular day for Among Us games. I mean, obviously it seems like weekends would be more popular, but even that's not true. Apparently Tuesday nights at Pacific Standard Time are the hot spot. Who knew? Number 31. For as technologically advanced as the Among Us characters are, the upload data task takes forever. But apparently back in the day, it used to be even longer with 12 seconds to go instead of the current eight. And you can definitely see why they change it. This task already feels like it takes forever, so being there for 12 seconds might just be guaranteeing an imposter kill. And at that point, it just seems unbalanced. And folks, we just launched a giveaway. With help from the company Dappy Doo, we designed these exclusive Skip the Imposter figurines. Now, we've only got 50. It's super limited. So to make sure that you don't miss out, you've got to head over to my Twitter and retweet the pinned tweet to enter into the giveaway. After that, follow both me and Dappy Doo on Twitter so we can DM you if you win. Today is November 8th. The winners will be announced from November 15th to November 20th. And until then, have a good one. All right.